Thanks for checking out the Freelance Rate Calculator. Just going to walk you through it. I am the creator, Zach Collins, and I just wanted to show you my thought process on how I built it and what it can do for you. Um, so, you know, I'm a freelancer myself, and when I started thinking about how to come up with my rate, uh, the first step was thinking about, well, I need this rate to cover my expenses. So this first spot here is a great way to start itemizing and detailing out all the expenses that you have. Uh, you've got daily ones, you know, maybe you spend $20 a day on meals um, or monthly, such as rent, and then yearly, perhaps, you know, every year you can count on roughly $1,000 in travel. So we've got different sections here to kind of really help you think through what are your expenses. And when you walk through it and go all the way down, you're going to land on sort of this annual total of expenses. Uh, but this isn't it, right? This is just basically telling you how much you spend. What you need to do now is figure out, well, to cover that, I need to, you know, break even. And to break even, it's not just reaching this amount. What you got to do is also reach expenses plus fees plus taxes to then get to that break even, which leads us to this next area. So Right here, you know, when you make a sale, you're oftentimes going to have to pay some sort of percent towards the transaction fee, whether it's credit card fees, or maybe you use something like Upwork where they take 20%, um, or you could do something else where it's 15. Um, but right here, you kind of figure out uh, and put in here what those fees are, and you land on this additional sales fees that you need to make in order to break even. This next section here is taxes. You can't escape them. You have to calculate those in. So this kind of helps you walk through, are you filing jointly or, or not? Are you married? Are you single? Uh, and you'll have different rates. The rates right now are updated for 2020 and 2021. So um, if you need to make the adjustment, go right ahead. But it's hard coded and you shouldn't have to touch anything except for the things that are in blue or highlighted. Now, your state income tax, that's really depending upon what state you live in. This 9.9 .9 is the U.S. average, uh, but you can click here and it'll bring you to your local state area and find what tax rate you have, and you can put it in here. Uh, and when that's done, you'll now have this amount for taxes. So going back to you know your annual expenses plus the fees we just calculated and the taxes, you have this total amount that you will need to be able to pay for as a freelancer. So we can finally reach, you know, what is this hourly rate? Well, on top of that, you're not just grinding and working 24 hours a day. I mean, maybe, but uh, you're going to burn yourself out. So you got to factor in some vacation time, holiday time, some sick time. And then on top of that, you know, how many days a week are you actually working? You know, after you figure out this top part, this days off, you have sort of this remaining days on. So within that, how many days are you actually working? And then, how many hours a day are you working? You know, I don't think you, you know, you might like to say, yeah, I'm working 20 hours a day, but this is the time you, you expect to get paid for. Um, so how many hours a day you're actually getting paid for? You know, um, you know, a lot of your day is going to be spent writing emails or getting contacts. That's not paid time. This is paid time. So once you finally have that, you then land on this minimum hourly rate that you need to charge in order to make up this amount of money that you have to pay for. These are your expenses, fees, and taxes. So this is your hourly rate. And as a convenience, uh, it's also broken down to, to day rate, you know, what you should charge as a minimum per day and what you should charge as a minimum per week if you have clients and you start doing project-based work. This is what you should charge as a minimum. Now, I say minimum because it doesn't allow for any room to save money. It's purely to break even. So uh, an additional next step is how much do you want to save on top of that every year? So you can put in a number here. Maybe you want to save 5000 10000 whatever you want to save uh, or just have in abundance to break even. This is where you put that number. Uh, and then it would adjust everything. You don't need to go back through the top. You just put a number in here. It's going to adjust it for you. Uh, and land on this number to then reach this final brand new hourly rate for you to break even and save whatever amount you put in here. It's kind of nice. You could put, uh, let's say it's 5,000, you could put 10,000 in, and then this would say 10,000. So 
Uh, right now it's in view only mode, but certainly when you download it and edit it, it'll do that for you. And again, the new day rate and weekly rate. So, you know, I built this to help myself to figure out what kind of rate I need to charge my clients. Uh, and I've gotten a lot of great feedback from freelancers like yourself. And I really hope this helps you think through a logical step process of how much do I need to charge in order to cover my expenses and to grow my business. So thanks so much for watching and downloading, and I hope you enjoy it.